This was a really good fight. Shout out to both of these women. Marlon Esparza, Naoka Fujioka. What is it? The 112 pound titles have been on the line. Here, let's go look at it. I think Esparza um, won by the skin of her nuts. That's how I got it. I think she barely won. I'm interested to see the cards. Here, let me mute this. But yo, also, did you know? I didn't know. I did watch the Salom um, Urbina fight, but I, I put it this way. It was on in the background, but I didn't cover the fight. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't sitting here judging and watching the fight. But all I heard was good things about it. That woman's 46 years old, by the way. And you wouldn't tell, you can't tell by her in-ring performance. Even when I was watching the weigh-in yesterday, you know, I thought she was maybe, you know, like mid-30s in women's boxing. That's not old. But fucking damn near 56-year-old woman. There's Chris Mannix's scorecard. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. Up next is Shane Mosley Jr. and Gabriel Rosado. Then the main event, Ryan Garcia versus Emmanuel Tegu here on The Zone. Right now, Brian Perella. And Kevin Salgado are in the ring on Showtime. And we have the UFC 273 card starting along with top rank on ESPN with Andrew Maloney getting into the ring. I think it's Andrew. Lord, I always get them mixed up. Me and Big Jail talk about it on Monday. Anyway, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. We are here live real time waiting for them to read the cards. Some big punches thrown in this women boxing match. Big punches. This was a very good women's boxing event. It's sad because this lower division right here. Don't get enough play. And if there's one fight I want to see again, even though they are two weight divisions apart, I do want to see the Senesa Estrada fight versus Marlon Esparza again. And I do, even though I like Esparza, all of her fights are exciting. And this is going to be for the Ring Magazine Keep her game plan going throughout the whole fight, at 112 pounds. And this poor woman right here, if she loses, she's going to retire. But I want to see her again. Too bad she's not in the bigger division. She competed most of her career at 112 pounds. 118. I don't know, Eddie. Eddie, you should call her up. Match room. They can get her in there with maybe a Shannon Courtney around that 112 pound, 15 pound division. Where is um, um, Ellie Scottney? What division she's in. Let's listen in. Take a time out. Like the video. Please subscribe. San Antonio, Texas. Let's give these ladies a huge round of applause. Oh. And now we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. Judges Jesse Reyes Cheers. and Wilfredo Espero have the bout 100 to 90. And Judge Lisa Chiapa has the bout 97 to 93, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. Bro. And now crowns the unified WBC, WBA, and ring title flyweight champion of the world from Houston, Texas. Did you hear like the one guy in the corner go, what? When he heard that 190, that's some bullshit right there. That's some bullshit right there. A smack in the face to that woman who's getting ready to retire. Bullshit. Blatant disrespect. I'm with you, sir. Even after those four snake. cards were read, she didn't seem to be convinced that it was her name that was going to be called. Damn, Fujioka. I mean, I wonder if she probably knew she wasn't going to get a fair deal. Damn, I do want to see her again, though. Promoter Luther Bell is telling us that it wasn't a close fight. 6 4, 5 5, but 190? 190? Lou, 190? That is criminal. Well, at least you're getting some love. Nice to be interrupted by random promoters, but <laughs> let's listen to the post-fight interview from um, fire, he doesn't have any. He's upset with those scorecards. But here is Chris Mannix with the newly Let's see what Esparza has to say. Marlon, congratulations. You are now the unified champion at 112 pounds. Oh, my computer's slowing down. I'm going to have to lower some settings. How hard she brings it. She's a multiple world champion. She's, you know, extremely 
this season. She's a tough fighter. And I think that I did really well considering everything. I, I was proud. We did everything that we practiced. Me and my trainer, James Cooper, we really executed well, and we really expected it to go that way. What was the game plan coming into this fight? Because we have seen you come darting out of your corner before. We've seen you pick up a little bit more slowly in fights. What was the strategy going into this one? Well, it was difficult to tell because she's such a seasoned fighter. You, you don't know what a world champion can bring. They can do anything. So we really just tried to be patient and see what she had to bring to the table and got ready for multiple ways that she could fight. And uh, pick, I got to execute and, you know, pick which one I thought she was doing and go from there. And my trainer helped me along the way. You seemed at times to make this fight maybe a little more difficult for you. When you had distance, you were able to get your shots off. When it was a fight kind of in a phone booth, as you see your son Saint here alongside you, for the picture of his mom, it seemed at times that it was tough it was tough on the inside was it tough when she got you on the inside it wasn't that it was it was tough in the way that i wasn't getting hit but i was being smothered so i was getting hit around the side and that was giving me a tough time and i kept getting worn for pushing but it was really just trying to get that distance so i could actually not be body to body hey monkey. okay so you was pushing motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. as we see here on the screen, when you had that distance, you were successful. When she got you on the inside, it seems like that's when she found the most success. Yeah, you, or you see how hey, it's equal only opportunity on the here. Of me. We treat the and women boxers just like the men. I try to push her away just a second so I could actually make that distance up the middle. Gender and that neutral. was expected. We knew that would happen. We practiced that. Uh, I was really, she was heavier than I expected her to be. I think your son is a boxing fan. He's got his eyes glued to that TV there. What does it mean to win a second title with him in the crowd? Uh, yeah, I got her. Sorry, he said you got her. Damn, uh, I remember it's, when it's she amazing. was doing commentary um, pressure. Thank you, everybody. That boy's thank got big. Thank you, San Antonio. Thank you. Gracias a todos que están aquí. She's be going fast uh, as hell. I'm, just, I'm really just uh, grateful that I can have this experience, that I can do this just not for women's boxing, but for my fans, and really uh, solidify who I am and that I am who I say I am. You got two belts now. There are two more out there. What do you want to do next? Uh, I really want the next two belts. Uh, La Bonita, I believe, from uh, Argentina, is um, is is the the one that I want. But I have to let my manager, uh, James Cooper, my trainer, and my team decide really what's next. But I'm happy for the future, and I think I'm exactly where I need to be. Congratulations, Marlon. Thank you. Is this the girl? Where's the other belt? So what girl has? Esparza, Twelve and one. What girl has the other belt? Hold on, let's find her. Her right here, right? Zero knockout. She's got the IBF. Okay. 17-0-3 with zero KOs. Dag, man. They was going to rob this poor woman. One thing about Esparza is she's always in good fights. Like, her fights are always exciting. Like, she really be bringing the business. You can't say, like, you know, she won't be putting her work in. So she wants to go after the Argentine girl. So she captured tonight, meaning Esparza, she is now, oh, was that a spear? Spear! Yeah, also, there should have been a knockdown, too, that uh, the referee didn't count. I should have showed you guys that highlight. But anyway, she is now the WBC, WBA, and Ring Magazine champion of 112 pounds. Female flyweight. And she's going after the IBF next. That's the fight she's hoping that her uh, managers can make. So I'm guessing, you know, something must be going on there. There must be some type of talks. Anyway, let me get, I got a busy schedule. So I would love to sit here and treat it fat with you guys, but I got to go. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and T-Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Follow me on Twitter at T-Street Controversy.